Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Leaf Team walkthrough. Uh, in the last episode we got down to Vermilion City and in this episode we will be exploring it and other sorts. I'm the fishing girl. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without it. Tell me, do you like to fish? I love to fish. I just love to fish for magic up with your stupid old rod. I'm a fishing guru. And a key item. If it was a key item, there wouldn't be any other fishing rod. Okay, uh, this guy is flattening some ground with a matchup. Don't know why. Uh, in this house, I think. Yes, you trade a Spiro for a Farfetch. Um, it's not a great deal, but Farfetch is like a trade because he's a good HM save. I raised more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come here to hear about... Yes, I came here to hear about your Pokemon. Say yes because you want the thing that he gives you at the end. And it's a bike voucher, so that's great. I won't be using bike. I don't know why. I never use it. Um obviously God. Shut up will you? Uh, I think in here, um there in Gen 1 there was a Kaferi and Pikachu girls all uh, with it. Um but yeah that's really stupid of her because what him. Uh think you him or her? Uh, in this episode, I should be done with all of Route 11, uh, well, as much as I can do. So, first of all, an awakening. Now, I can't remember what these people have, so... Um, I'm just gonna go with mine. Also, um, I found out why I should start waiting, well, I'm gonna get my Galabas level 22 and then evolve it. Wow! Yeah, and then evolve it because it learned Torn Attack. Holy crap. <laughs> it learned Torn Attack at level 22. So, um, I want that. And I'm going to have it instead of Pet. I really don't want Pet. <laughs> uh, Vinny. Yep, go for it. Vinny is probably going to get the most XP. Uh, when it comes to the FSM, because I'm pretty sure there's mostly water types, and even if there's not, he's gonna be in the front of the body most of the time. <laughs> so yeah, 52 special types. That's just incredible. That's amazing. If you don't get that reference, I'd probably said it wrong. The Electrician, engineer, thing. Engineer, there you go. Magnemite, perfect. I can double kick his face. Or I could dig. I don't think they have levitate. Do they have levitate? I think they might have levitate. Okay then. I can't remember. But, I mean, double kick does just as well. And I think... Horn attack, there you go. I guess I will delete uh, Pet for my horn attack because why well, it's better and now I can evolve him which I will do uh, because I <laughs> it'll be a long while until it ends another move and I really don't want to wait that long without him out being a Nido King so I'm gonna evolve. And there's a magneton. <laughs> Stop having all the electric steel like that, please, because I can just put a cat in them asses. Ah, wow. Okay, lucky me. Um, let's see. Yeah, I uh, should be finished with fruit quite fast. Um, apparently there's a third moonstone in Mount Moon, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. Yep, get it. What? Excalibur is evolving! Oh my god! 
I didn't even didn't even see that I did he did he evolve at 22? Oh no, that's stupid. Of course he's evolving. Nidoking. King, uh, amazing Pokemon. Uh, very strong. <laughs> very strong. Uh, I love him. And it's trying to learn Thrash. I no. <laughs> I don't want Thrash. Yes, Thrash is strong, and I really, really, really should have taught him. But um, most of the time, when you use it, you just end up confusing yourself because you won't be able, to, you won't be finishing the battle. I really should go Thrash. I know, but. I really should have kept the Contact brilliant. And the sprite looks so much better than <laughs> but I I really didn't like the sprites of Gen 1. I mean they they couldn't have made them a little bit more I mean, even if they, they didn't try and do it isometric or just made them completely 2D sprites. That would have been nice. But no, they <laughs> actually tried to make them look like they were facing diagonally and it just looks horrible and I didn't actually find out when Captain learned drill pack but I think it's later if I'm not mistaken around 30 maybe and if I'm mistaken yay good a lot of XP, I oh, know I do. Right, and then this guy, there, I'm um, not to mess with. I need to talk to this guy. This might be a short episode. Um, if it is, I'll show you me getting the bike just so it's a bit longer. The funny thing is, um, Dig is super effective against poison type. So, uh, Mock, Grimer, Nidor and Nidorino, I can use Excalibur. And for any other poison type, so Ghastly, I can use. Yeah, all the others. <laughs> I can use my Mr. Mime, which I will have. Who will have side beam, I think? Is he? No, he has confusion, isn't he? Right, that was easy. Got this guy now. I just became a trainer. Yeah, same. Like, three days ago? When did we start? Three, four, four days ago. No, three. You watched three. Four, three, four. four. Um, poison. Will not do anything. So, one attack is more than your own. Oh, Will you stun true? Stop using the stun attack. And again, stop it. Hey, do, are you going to stop it now? Because it didn't work, did it? No. Do that. I will change that because he's got low accuracy. Um what was I gonna say? Guys, what was I gonna say? Come on, third time. Third time. Fourth time. Ah oh. <laughs> I know I should have said it before, you're right game. Why am I talking to the game? Why am I talking to myself? It's kind of weird talking to myself. I mean, I've I've sort of gotten used to it since I've done quite a lot of videos, but it's so weird, especially because uh, uh, it's actually quite embarrassing as well. Because um, sometimes my sister walks in the room and I'm just like, look at her, like go away. And she understands exactly. So I tell her, no interruptions. I'm recording, but you know. Sometimes you can't have your way, and they interrupt you. Can you empty this for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I'm joking. I love my sister Ella. Ugh, it sounds horrible. Ugh, disgusting. Ugh, loving your sister. How dare I? 1000! This seriously has gone up from the 80 I used to love. Yep, another gambler. I have never won before. What? Is that, did it? Did I hear that correctly? He has never won before. Oh, don't. I'm a huge king of Nido. Why is a Growlithe intimidating me? Speaking of Growlithe, I was thinking of getting a Growlithe. Uh, but then I remembered, oh wait, it's Leaf Green. Or I should say, then Josh reminded me, oh wait, it's Leaf Green. And he's a uh, Fire Red exclusive. So I'll have to get Vulpix, which is way worse. Uh, so I considered getting a Ponyta. Um, but I don't know if I need it. So, I don't know. I will, I will rethink my team, because I don't think I need a fire type. But I know for a fact I'm getting a water type. Be it Vaporeon or Seal. I'm probably going to be a seal because I really don't want to train up an Eevee from level 20 on the 6th gym. It's just, no. no, 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 probably the 5th, actually I think you get him around the 4th or 5th gym, I think you can do him in different orders. <sighs> One kick, took him out. Why don't you cheat and get a rat again? Jeez. I'm aware if you cheat because I get more XP. It's, it's completely fine. I probably should stop using the other game because he's going to get a lot of XP in the gym. Um, so I should I should use Captain for the next two. Uh, I know I should. I know. Hell yeah, I will. Um, train in. Not now. Um, click on this rock. You get an escape rope. Don't know why I need an escape rope here. And this is the last trainer on this route. So yay! Oh, also, I said I'd do bios. I know I said do bios. Uh, well, I haven't done the bios. So, um, I'm going to do the bios for every Pokemon. Um, whilst I'm doing the SSN speed run thing. Although that's badly... Uh, I don't know. Cause it's just basically a one-way thing, isn't it? So, I mean, you don't need to see it. It's not a hard thing to do. I think I might do the bios, and then I'll do a BB walk through. Ah, oh, there's no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know what to do the bios. I can just do like a bio video, but I'll just do the bios over a gym battle or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, Pokeball. There's a great ball there, which I'll never use probably. And if we go in here. We can go up here, and we can talk to the professor here. I want a professor Cade. If you've got 30 species, I'm going to give you an award. It's called an item finder, and I'll... I'm going to call it Tess. So, that's bad. Uh, I'm looking for the Pokemon Nidorina. Want to treat it? No. Uh, I would have. But... Uh, if you go right, there is a Snorlax in the way, obviously. Ooh, nostalgia. You know. I don't want to go all the way right. Uh, that's the end of the route. No, it's not. I mean, how can I He's at the start of the route. Okay, I missed this guy, but, um... This is the last one. And then... Um... Well, I could probably fit the bios in. So, yeah. I'll do those. Uh, 
level 21 Ekans, I'm actually surprised that someone got something over level of 20. And I still completely wipe its face. Clean off. Okay, um... That's it then. Wait, what, what about this dude? Do I battle this guy? What? What now? Leave me alone! Okay, um... If you fish in here, you get magic up. That's it. <laughs> and... This is a gym, you need cuts, so obviously you need to go on the SS Anne. So, next episode will be the SS Anne, and I'll see you in a bit. Because I need to see Bio. Okay, Bio is for my three Pokemon. I'll start with Nidoking. Uh, Nidoking is Poison Ground type, as you can see. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of use Poison Point, uh, Poison Pose on Contact, and... I really like this Pokemon, it's very well-rounded, um, nice special attack, nice attack, uh, really bad speed. Um, it's not the greatest of Pokemon, I know, I said it was really powerful, I know it is only level 25, but I don't know if it, it's as good as I could have had, but, you yeah, know, it's, it's nice. Uh, the second Pokemon is... Well, well, my Bulbasaur, <laughs> Grass Poison type, started with Grass Poison. Um, it's a really good Pokemon, I really like it. Uh, it's quite slow, probably the slowest start of that. Uh, really good special attack. And uh, the ability is Overgrow, which of Grass moves in a pinch. And yes, I am just reading this off the page. Obviously, yeah. Uh, when it evolves, it becomes incredible. Uh, but not many people like it, I don't think. Um, I don't understand why it's a normal flying type. Why can't it just be a flying type? I really hate that they did that. Um, this is Spiro, obviously normal flying type. <laughs> it's uh, Keen Eye, Prevents Loss of Accuracy, which I think is a really good ability to have, especially when Loss of Accuracy is really annoying and Sanctuary do it all the time. But the thing is, you wouldn't use a flying type against the ground type, which would have the sand attack. So, it sort of sucks that it has it on a flying type. Uh, this Pokemon, in my opinion, is better than Pidgey, Pidgeot, and, well, Pidgeotto, yes, I know they're in the wrong order, because it's faster and it's more aggressive. I, yeah, I know it has, uh, less defense than the Pidgey, but I find that it's boosted attack is a lot better than the Pidgey. Also it learns Dark Type moves and it learns Dual Peck, which is such a good move, and Mirror Move, which also is quite good. It's quite a clever move. So yeah, that's my bios. I hope you like them and I should be putting things on top of them and I'll be right back again. I'll probably leave it here actually. And then next episode I will do the SSM. So, see you then.